So this is cheapy at carrypad.com at the ViewSonic stand IFA Berlin 2010. This is the ViewSonic uh, ViewPad and it's a 7 inch capacitive touchscreen uh, device running on Snapdragon 600 megahertz. It's a 1 into 4 by 600 screen, capacitive, multi touch. You can quickly take around the, the device. It's actually a nice finish. This is plastic, but it actually feels like uh, brushed uh, aluminium. So we've got, uh, I think there's a reset button, there's a mic, there's a, a headphone, and there's the USB uh, slave port on the right hand side speaker. Uh, not sure what that is at the top there. Then we've got uh, buttons for, I guess, volume up, volume down, and then a little flap here for your SIM card and your micro SD card. On top left, there's the second of the uh, speakers. I think that's a power button there. So on the back, nice and clean, but look right in the middle, you can see the, uh, the webcam there, and I believe that's three megapixels, that webcam. So um, nice bright screen, and of course, nice hand-holdable size. You can uh, easily think about using this as, a, as an e-book. That's uh, no problem at all. Capacitive buttons on the right-hand side, which is nice, and let's see if we can uh, get that Aldico reader up just to show you uh, how it looks on the Aldico reader. And uh, as I said, the actual form factor is really nice for for ebook reading. And of course, Aldico, you have the brightness setting on the right-hand side, and uh, yeah, that works really nice. I don't know what the weight is, but that's very, very similar to the uh, the Galaxy Tab. And actually, in terms of Galaxy Tab competitors, this is probably uh, well, this is the one I'm thinking it's probably up there with the best of them at the moment. Not sure on the pricing, not sure on the availability. We're going to speak to the product manager in a minute and find out. Um, one other thing you need to know about this, it does have all the Google apps on it, so Marketplace is on here, Maps is on here. Let's quickly show you the, uh, the maps. We're connected to Wi-Fi here. So actually we're connected to 3G HSDPA here. So, um, and that's working really nicely, especially as that's uh, satellite views, a fair bit of data coming down there. So, of course, having all the Google apps makes a big difference. Let's have a look at um, one benchmark I did on this. It's a Limpac uh, benchmark because this is a 600 megahertz Snapdragon. I don't think it's going to be the fastest out of all. Certainly the Tegra 2 platform turns in some impressive results. But the benchmark here was 6.841, which is you know, it's fairly uh, average, actually, on the platforms. But in terms of browsing, let's see if we can... Uh, check out some browsers. We'll go to the browser here. I'm going to go to uh, carrierpad.com. Again, we're over 3G in EFA. That's not going to be the best place to test um, uh, to test throughput, but let's get the uh, on-screen keyboard up now. And uh, that might be easier to do it this way. Is that going to change for me? Yeah. Let's uh, go for carrierpad.com. See how long that takes. A time of 10 to 15 seconds would be would be no, would be reasonable. But as I say, 3G here at EFA is not going to be perfect. There's the mobile website. Let's uh, switch that to regular view. We'll see how it performs with uh, all the images and stuff that I've got on the full website. I'm not sure if this is uh, supporting flash. We'll certainly see as soon as it loads up. So that's the website loaded. Well, it's still loading. Not the fastest, certainly not as fast as the Galaxy Tab, I don't think. But I think for the types of places you're going to use this device, 600 megahertz, I mean, similar to the Motorola Droid, basically, is going to be uh, fast enough. Flash is not installed on here, but that might be an advantage in this case. Let's uh, quickly go to uh, an article to check again. So all this happening over 3G again. And there you go. That's really not too bad. Really nice screen. Of course, ViewSonic. Uh, are a screen company, they know about screens. The viewing angles on this are reasonable, not 180 by 180, but certainly uh, reasonable enough for you to use it in landscape and portrait mode without any problems at all. So um, we're going to have a chat with the product manager, see if we can find out a little bit more about availability and pricing on this one. But this is Chippy from uh, carrypod.com, Adifa Berlin with the uh, ViewSonic ViewPad.
22. Yeah, that's working. That's a voice call on the uh, ViewSonic ViewPad. And now you all know my number.